สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Fearless Home Cooking. My name is Nick. Today we will start with an orange asparagus and almond salad. I have a guest today who is helping to cook with me. The guest is actually our corporate chef Timber, and I'm very happy to have him here today because he can give you some professional tips. I, as a normal home cook, maybe not be able to do so. So, Timber, welcome. Hello. Yeah. So, what is up? Hello. Thank you. Please. So, as I spoke to you before, we will do some fantastic salad today, and to do that, we of course need some ingredients. So. We need a bowl where we can put something in. We need some oil, some vinegar, and of course, we need some almonds. These are raw almonds, and we will have to toast them later on. But of course, without that, we need the raw ingredients out of the fridge. So we will need some asparagus. Need some tomatoes, of course, some lettuce, which we later on prepare, and the most important thing, the orange. So again, these are the raw ingredients for our salad. So what we need to do is we need to start with the asparagus. Normally, at home, I would take a knife and I would chop it. But I heard that my colleague Timber here has a much better tip for you to use. At home, so Timber. Thank you very much. Uh, what I find with the asparagus growing here, we eat it when it's a lot younger and the tops are more tender. Uh, but at the bottom, it does tend to get a little bit chewy. Uh, now, asparagus will tell you naturally where it becomes tender. And what you do when you're holding it, you just start to give it a bend until you hear it cracking. Once you hear it crack, that's the spot where the bottom side is chewy and the top side is tender. So we're just going to give it a snap, like that. Then we're going to save this for our salad, and we're going to save the bottom parts for a recipe later on to do a nice super puree with them. Okay. Then of course we have the salad. The salad we need to wash, as well as the asparagus we need to wash. So I'm just trimming off the small ends to make it easier that they break very easily. No problem. The same thing here, and I hand it over to Timber in a second. So we can wash that very easily. Thank you very much. So again, tomatoes. We also give it a rinse. You know, wash. We take, of course, all the greens off. So you have the perfect tomato. Two times. So we wash that as well. Yeah. So when we do blanching, it tends to bring out the colors and the flavors of the vegetable a little bit more. But blanching is not the same as fully cooking. You don't want to go all the way like boiling. So you're just basically making the colors pop and making the flavors pop. And then we're going to put it into cold water with a little bit of ice, so it shocks it right at that point, at right. the peak of its uh, flavor and freshness. So we have, of course, a pot of hot water on our stove, and we added some salt. Just basically any regular salt will do. Here, these are salt flakes from Spain. So again, hot water, salt, and next to it we have a little frying pan, which we will use to toast our almonds. Okay, we have our orange, which is one of the main ingredients in that salad. So we want to segment the orange. So very simple: you cut off the top. You can see already; you see the white. So again, cut a little bit more that you can see the orange very clearly. Sometimes it helps if you take the bottom off as well, because then you have a very very solid stand to cut around. So the easiest one is you want to take the orange off. So that you can see the real orange part of of that orange, because you don't want to have the skin. The skin is bitter and doesn't have anything to do with in our salad. Okay, so you just take the segments away. And then you get nice little orange wedges. Which you can use in your salad, and then we have some oranges ready, and then you bring in your tomato. Tomato again, you do not want to have the string inside, so you take it off. You 
because again, this one you do not want. Very simple. And you have eight nice little tomato pieces. So now we need to do the asparagus, Next right? Next step is asparagus. So we're going to come over here to our stove and we're going to cook the asparagus and toast the almonds at the same time. So we've got our salted water boiling here and to blanch something, we're going to cook it for about 30 seconds to one minute, just enough to get the color to pop out and, and to uh, make it a little more tender. We drop our water in. We've got a pan preheated to medium heat here. We're going to go in with our almonds there. So when you're toasting nuts and spices, the idea is to release the oils that are already in it. You can see over here our asparagus color has changed quite a bit. It's getting more vibrant now. And we're just going to come out of the pan into the ice water. And you see when we put it into the ice water, we get this beautiful, beautiful bright green color that's actually more appetizing looking than it was raw. So we have all our ingredients for this salad right here. So in here, Timber, yep. you have your salad, a nice mixing bowl. So we're using a baby romaine lettuce and we wash it uh, at the beginning of our recipe. And the next step is to break the salad up. Now, you can cut it with a knife, but uh, sometimes when you cut it with a knife, it will turn the stems a brown color as a reaction between the metal uh, and, and the leaf. So what I like to do with my leafy salads is simply give them a little twist. And we break them into bite-sized pieces into the bowl. Our next step is just combine the ingredients. So we're going to add our asparagus in. We've got the tomatoes that have been cut up and the oranges that Kunik has segmented. Now we have our kind of wetter ingredients in now. We're just going to use our tongs, give it a little bit of a toss to kind of get the tomato juice and the orange juice covering the salad leaves and the asparagus. And then the next part is to season it uh, with, a, with a salad dressing. Now, what we do for the dressing, it's very simple. We're just going to pour a bit of olive oil over it. And then we're going to add a little bit of our vinegar on top. Now, you can use an already prepared dressing, uh, but we like to do it this way so you can really taste the flavor of the olive oil and taste the flavor of the vinegar. We're ready to plate now. We're going to come down. We put a few of our lettuce sleeves down just to build the base. You can see you've got a nice coating of the dressing over it. Now we're going to decorate with a couple people's pieces of our asparagus across the top. Okay. And maybe another orange. One more little orange on there. Another little layer of asparagus. Now this is the point when you sprinkle your almonds over the top. Just spread them around a little bit. And just a couple cracks of salt, a few cracks of fresh pepper, and you're good to go. Thank you very much and Enjoy. Kopf und Krapf.